As we mentioned, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb has been in the hot seat today defending his proposed budget for the city. Yeah, Matt Rascone went to the hearing and reports public safety dominated a good chunk of the conversation. I feel like that we are waving the white flag. I, I truly do. Council members have been sitting on the numbers for almost three weeks. I couldn't disagree more with you on that point. A 400-plus page proposal of the city's $2 billion total budget that includes cutting 148 vacant police positions. The elephant in the room is uh, police budget staffing and making sure that we don't lose our aspirational goal. One council member after another expressed concern about public safety and traffic enforcement. I want to refute the notion that there haven't been applicants. Councilman Charles Slife said there were more than 900 applicants at the Cleveland Police Department in 2022, but that pool produced only 11 cadets. Not for lack of interest, but lack of information. This council, I don't think, fully understands why Cincinnati is able to put on a 50-person cadet class, but Cleveland isn't. There's nothing in your comments that I don't agree with. I want more transparency on uh, why certain folks aren't getting hired. Mayor Justin Bibb said he believed their recent investments in pay increases, bonuses, and a marketing firm would pay off and would be apparent in the next class of police cadets. So what I'm not going to do is have imaginary math while, while not having the investments we need to fix our near-term staffing challenges inside the division of police. And just to give you the numbers, the mayor's proposed budget includes money for 1,350 police officers in 2024. That's about 180 more than where the department is right now. Mayor Bibb said he believed we could get close to hiring that number this year, Russ. A lot more on this debate to come, of course. Yep. All right, Matt Rescone, thank you.